I think we're clear if we're on this field. We know that every repetitive job, every repetitive task, job will be replaced by a machine. I think that's clear. So let's go above that. Let's go to creative jobs. Can machine, can artificial intelligence do AI? My take is that yes, it can be creative. Machines can be creative. And what do you know, pal? What do you think? Right. 45 seconds. So you promised me that Accenture is going to judge, right? right. Uh, first of all, we have no judges. We have right. referees. All right, so just the win the fight. It's because AI is mostly bullshit. It's mostly bullshit. Please go ahead and refund the check back to Indy Anderson. <laughs> uh, my take on this is that it will take away menial jobs, but uh, hey, uh, creativity is about who created it. It's about the photographer, not the camera. And the second that computers are painting, the least appreciate it. All right, everybody gets a 30 second rebuttal. You guys need to be paying attention because you are voting for the winner along with the referees. Your response. Let's define creativity. What is creativity? It's a lot of information and a lot of ideas that you put together, unrelated ideas that you put together to create a new solution, a new one. That's what computers do. And they do it better than us. They do a lot of information. They can see the whole world. And you and I cannot see it. They can see the whole pictures of the world. We cannot see them to create a new thing. I believe that computers can gather a lot of information to create a new one. That's my job. That's what I do. And I should have done it. Matt, your response. I mean, that's what I would say if I were to the Microsoft's AI division. <laughs> my mission. Tim? <laughs> Can I go now? Yes, you bet. Okay, good, thanks. So, uh, our modern day Nostradamus, Elon Musk, says that artificial intelligence is going to cause World War III. We're going to have killer robots. We have to be worried about that. But, you know, then again, the guy said we're going to Mars in five years, so there's that. So, um, how is it really going to work out? What are the goods and bads, and when's it going to happen? Goods and bads, and when's it going to happen? Who wants to go first? You want to take the first shot? Well, I think we see AI right now with Siri and Cortana, and, uh, and it's pretty impressive. I mean, you see the, the advances every every year, what that thing can do. And soon it's going to respond calls, soon they're going to make calls, make them a judge, judgment call. So in 15, in 15 years from now, I think they'll be driving. I think they'll be making a lot of things that humans did today. That's what I think, and I think that's creativity. What do you think, Matt? I think that uh, Elon's boss, Peter Thiel, has already told him that he needs to chill out a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I think that in order for him to sell cars, he's got to launch him into space and tell us we're going to Mars and everything else because it's good for business. But, uh, uh, you know, I'm just not buying it. I'm still waiting for my update, so. <laughs> All right, perhaps anybody else got a question? Who's got a question? Grab that mic, Gabby. So, uh, if it's all bullshit, but it's taking over the world, um, uh, what, what does that, that, that mean for the rest of us who are actually building new businesses, coming up with new ideas? Are we creating more bullshit, or are we facilitating the future? All right, he's a bullshit guy. Why don't you go first now? You're a bullshit guy. Well, I think the premise of the question is uh, that, and that AI is taking over the world. Um, I think that we like to believe that it is, so that we can sell more things to more people, but I'm not seeing it. I, I am yet to see, you know, Siri still gets confused whenever I ask her basic questions, and, it, and Apple's got a billion dollars in, you know, 10 years of technology, and that still doesn't work. Pablo. It works better than a year ago. I can tell you that. <laughs> so the question is not what is now, what the 15 years from now will be. And at this pace, it's going to replace a lot of jobs, it's going to do great things. That's what I think, and what I do and I think is mundane right now, it's going to be replaced by AI. So our next job is going to be, okay, what's going to be our next job? That's the next question. It's going to be sorting mail cards? No, I don't think so. All right, now's the time where you guys get to have fun. I need you to bring your phones back. And the winner is...